It was March 19, another school day, another early morning, another time where I had to drag myself out of bed and count down until I got to return home, safe and sound. It was 6.14 a.m. and all of a sudden my phone vibrates the text to let me know the news I had been dreading for a long time. It was just two months ago when we lost a crucial part of this community, a valued individual who not only devoted his life to the school system, but also to every soul he came into contact with. A man who should be sitting up here on the stage, but who is now relieved of his pain entirely with the Lord, the one and only Mr. Charles Gann. I'm sure many of you know of him and feel the same way as I do. When I think of him, I am filled with amazement. Amazement because he was unlike many others, and personally, just simply someone I have admired since the first day of third grade at West Broadway Elementary School. His confident personality was contagious, and his ambitious demeanor was even more so. The way Mr. Gant carried himself was distinct from anyone I had ever met. His perspective on life is what gave him the radiant energy to impact so many others. The technique he had in easily tackling a situation gave power to so many weak areas in this town. I remember when a situation arose, he would be the first one to calm everyone down and shed light on the problem at hand. The man never even seemed stressed or worried in any way because of that goofy smile and big loud mouth he always embraced. I will forever remember that unique voice everyone grew to love. One of his favorite quotes he always used to say was, excuses are the nails that build a house of failure. It is during times of weakness when we often experience defeat. The act of excuses fill your mind and you only see failure ahead. But as Mr. Grant often implied, it is during those moments of struggle that we see who we actually are. We see what it takes to get back up and keep pushing for the better into our story. We then truly understand the value of our circumstance and, a stop, and aspire to become greater than those. He may have never known it, but he truly inspired me like so many others because he truly gave me the courage to not fear the unknown and to face my biggest insecurities head on. Mr. Gant went out of his way every single day to make sure every student knew that they mattered to make sure every child remembered that they had a purpose in this life and to not let anyone take that away from them. Mr. Gant searched for the best in everyone and always recognized how special each individual was in his or her own way. He also lived by these words, live your best life so when you are gone, you will leave behind a monument that the hands of time cannot erase. Let me say that again. Live your best life, so when you are gone, you will leave behind a monument that the hands of time cannot erase. You only have one chance, one opportunity to make the most of everything that is thrown at you. It's yours. The goals you set and the success you achieve are only building you into the person you're meant to be. And only you can choose how to reach your dreams. Aspire to have a mindset that others are influenced by. Persevere through the difficult times and seek to be the greatest person you can be. Be you and only you. Find your purpose and don't lose sight of that. In remembrance of Mr. Charles Gant, here's the class of 2019 and all that we will achieve. Hoorah!